Well, on today's episode, if you are hearing this sound in your Hellcat or your 392 or your RT or your Daytona, you probably have a bad drive shaft. So let's go replace that and continue to look for loads. All right, all right. Drive shaft. She got the carrier brick. Ooh, all dirty. Drive shaft complete. Back to tarpon. We're actually strapped. And uh, that's what actually moves up and down and pushes on the spring. Um, those head bolts are probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to get out. And a JB hook. Hey. So, oh, that was nice of you. 19765. So that is a wrap. What do you think? You good? Every state is probably going to be different. Thanks for making our lunches, Mom. Oh, good morning. Hello, Tiki. Oh, where'd he go? He left. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Casey. Come on, Mama. Yeah, it's going to be a big no concrete day today. <laughs> it's raining. Uh, we might go pick up the drive shaft for the Hellcat. Um, the Hellcat drive shaft, it's, I guess it's a big problem with them. Okay, Cash is his turn. Let's go to school. Let's go, Rainers. Good morning. Good day, there. Uh oh, yes. someone. Oh, there's purple ones. No, there's pink ones. Is there a pink one in the back? Oh, you got lucky. I got very lucky. Very lucky. Yeah, I like your arm tattoo, man. It's sweet. There is cream inside those, yep. No, you hit in Spanish. <laughs> Just hit the top. There you go. Thank you. 100% uh, Colombian. And L. L. Thanks, dude. You ended up with a sprinkle donut, huh? What? Oh, yeah, leave room. Thanks, dude. So you had one too, but you got it off? How'd you get it off? Then you watch TikTok and it actually works. What did you do? Tape? Duct tape. Duct tape. So he had a tattoo also and he used duct tape to get it off. That's crazy. But Cash has that tattoo because his buddy Kyle in school has one too. Yeah, yeah we got Skittles. Let's it's go to school. See you, Butts on. Okay. Let's go to school. We only have two weeks left, guys. Okay. That is crazy. Oh, Mr. Officer Man. All right. Jump, jump, jump. Let's go. Is my face dirty? Nope, you're clean. Case, Cash, your face clean. Good. Love you guys. Here we are. Come on down. Say good boy. <laughs> Thank you. Have love you guys. Bye bye. <laughs> I didn't get a love you from either one of them. Completely ignored, but it's still going to be a beautiful day. All right, let's go get this drive shaft. They ordered it for us. We have a friend who really was an awesome uh, acquaintance. To, he has wholesale, he works in dealerships and um, is a service manager, I believe. And he got us a great wholesale price on the ones because these are hard to find. They're. Uh, Back ordered a lot, like the pieces to make them. If you want to make a one piece or do uh, the flanges on the end, ends that meet to the transmission and meet to the rear end, uh, they're like discontinued, not discontinued, but they're back ordered. So I like everything in the world, hard to get, but they, they have them at the dealership. So he got us one for a really good price, under $900. So that's awesome. Let's go pick that up. And then I don't know if I'm going to put that in today or what I'm going to do, but we got uh, rain again. So I'll look at the load boards, see if there's anything that pops up for that. But uh, hopefully the, the numbers are still coming up on those loads and we can make it worthwhile sooner or later. Got a little wreck or something, or maybe ambulance just pulling out. I don't know. We got an ambulance over there. Oh, something's happening at Starbucks. Ooh, bad little wreck. Little Toyota Corolla, rest in peace. All right. We are going to go pick up this drive shaft now. It is right up here, kind of the motor mile, they call it. Um, there's a lot of more dealerships up in, like, Greer, like Wade Hampton, but this one's like the little one for Greenville. It's where we, uh, what are, we haven't bought anything down there, but <laughs> I am bidding on a load which just got counter offered at 570 um, down to Orangeburg. And that's for today, delivering early tomorrow. And there's, it's like uh, Saddle Creek Logistics. There's a lot of loads coming out 
from them right now on Uber. So we'll see if they come up to a decent rate. Cause it's supposed to rain again tomorrow. It's 90% chance of rain today, which it's raining right now. I think it's a 50 or 60% chance tomorrow and Saturday. So no cement loads. We might, might as well look for a dry band load. And um, I might go put this drive shaft in today. I don't know. I'm going to see if they have any room because they have one lift for cars at the shop. And if it's not being used today, maybe I can ask if I can throw the Hellcat up there and take the exhaust down. And the drive shaft's not that hard to take out. And the exhaust, um, those cars came with active exhaust where it opened valves. But my car has that deleted. So that should be even easier to take off. You don't got to take off those electrical connections because my car doesn't have any mufflers. That's why it's so dang loud. But I bought it that way, so hey. Um, all right, let's go. Let's go pick up this drive shaft. Hey, the service department, and look at this beautiful car. Oh, yes. My goodness, look at that Viper. Gorgeous. Um, I need parts, but I don't want to pull forward to service. I'm not servicing the minivan. That's a beautiful Viper. That's what, 96-ish, 95-ish, I would say. Uh, I think they first came out in 91 or 90. There's also a green, oh, that's a handicap, Justin. That is a handicap. One more. Nice green uh, Challenger in there. We'll go check that out. Good morning. Hello, how are you? Good, how you doing? What are you I'm buying a drive shaft for my Hellcat. Oh, okay. oh yeah. <laughs> yep, I want to check out your Hellcats, though. They have a white one with the red leather, but it is already sold. 82, that's not bad. It probably had a little markup on it. 74 was the original. Ended up being 82. All right, wide body, gorgeous. Enjoy whoever bought it. You tint the windows. They got a couple 392s, but that's the only Hellcat I saw. I've never been here. Real nice area. Oh yeah, the vending machine. The boys would be in love. The coffee spot. Okay. I don't know why the trunks are open. Maybe that's to charge them if they die. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're both getting charged. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are signed, sealed, delivered, and paid for. Uh, a little bit over $900, which isn't bad for what else I was looking at there. Nice oh, Hemi. But yes, look at this thing. What a beauty. The old RT. I had a 2003, same color red, convertible Viper. Venomous. <laughs> That's the uh, license plate. Oh yeah, we got the meats. Pretty car. Not very comfortable, not much trash control, but fun to drive. Let's get this drive shaft home. Fitting like a glove, and oh yeah, they had a little bit of a smash mash. All right, let's keep rolling, let's get home. Okay, let's summon the kitty. Okay, I'll be right back. I love you. No, because I have to put it up on a, on a thing that's going to be dangerous, okay? I know. I'm going to go fix it. I'll be right back. I love you. No, I'm taking the Hellcat. <laughs> okay? I'll be right back. I love you. My goodness, I haven't driven this thing in so long the battery died on it. He wants to say goodbye. He said he can't come for this one because I got to get the car in the air. But maybe we'll get some of that sound. I love you. Bye, baby. Bye, baby. Be good for mama, okay? Bye. Bye, baby. Love you. All right. Let's get this thing going. Don't know if that's coming in with the sound, but you can kind of hear it. Da, 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 da. Hear that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get it. 
on those two Uber loads, um, they told me earlier that the Rock Hill was, I lost the bid and went somebody else and they'll let me know if it, <laughs> I guess if it comes back. And they never did. And it came back on the board about a half an hour later. Uh, now they just told me the same thing. You can see up here on the left, they told me that the Orangeburg one is gone to somebody else, but that load's been up there for like a whole week. So my goodness, this drive shaft is done. I just hope it holds up to get me to the shop. Um, yeah, I was like, oh, okay. So we'll see if that one pops back on the board, but there's playing games. Just make sure you realize that they have all the information, they have all the power, they have all the manipulation to t show you, oh, you lost this load, you better uh, better bid on it again. So even if I take it out of uh, drive, it's still, that drive shaft is just barely holding on. So we got to uh, get that taken care of. But it's a throwaway. The carrier bearing is a part of the drive shaft. It's kind of, it's not a piece you can disassemble or take out or slide off. So it's right in the middle of the two bigger pieces. So you got to replace the whole thing. Yep, it's about 13, 1400 bucks for that part. Um, and then if you want like a custom aluminum drive shaft, you can about 1500 you can have a one piece but i'm just going back to factory mopar um hopefully they've fixed it because it was kind of a recall um i believe a recall or just a, a service bulletin i don't know what it was but a lot of their newer cars were, were uh, having them replaced but this one made it for 60,000 miles on this car so i'm sure people have put some hammer down on this car like i have before me because i've only had this car since what 50,000 miles 50 something so yeah this sheet needs a new drive shaft. Let's get there. She's going. Okay, so if you're having that clanky noise, it's probably coming from right here. And this is the carrier bearing that you can't really take off, so it's a throwaway drive shaft. And ours is the front one, so right here. All right, first things first, get the car in the air. And the first thing you're gonna take off are these little uh, braces right here. You'll have two half inch on each side. And they'll go down right there. And now we're gonna get the exhaust loose, but make sure before you do these uh, hangers, you disconnect these valves. These are like opening valves. So disconnect those first, and then let's get that exhaust down. Now your next step is gonna be these exhaust hangers right here. They're not too bad to get to right here to get them off. But before you go crazy, thinking that these ones back here you have to be pushed off there's a bolt 13 millimeter that's holding them up so they come down see make sure you get that bolt and don't go crazy thinking you gotta pop those ones off okay now you're gonna get to the tx 50s that's what size you're gonna need get all these loose uh i use an impact for a little bit but some of them are pretty tight there's a lot of thread lock on these things so um <laughs> use your hand as much as you can so you don't strip them out Use the, do the back one first so the wheels don't just spin because if you disconnect the front one, your wheels will spin. So if you do that one first, do the back one first. And then the front one's off. And our problem, guys, might be right here. Oh yeah. Let's get that down. Last thing you're gonna take down is the brake brace for the uh, carrier bearing and that'll let the whole thing drop out. Okay guys, we were just about ready to put it back in, had it all ready to go. Be careful taking out those hex um, bolts that are holding it in. Uh, some of them are pretty tight and a lot of thread, thread lock, like I said, so you might want to do it by hand for a while before you use a uh, impact or something. But the part we were given, this one right here and the old one right over there, if you look at the picture right here, you can see different part, a little too long. This was the correct one that showed up when our VIN number was inputted and everything. That is definitely the wrong one. So he said he'll have it. He said his apologies. I'll have it there again at 9 a.m. But she's not going home today. So we'll finish this up again tomorrow. Okay, guys. No cement loads, and the Hellcat uh, <laughs> drive shaft was the wrong one. He told me he sold it. So we are doing this, and I have gotten a little bit further. So what I can do here. I'm on Kylan's computer, then I can go ahead and look at Kylan's face. There we go. I can go to Cash's computer. Look at your camera. <laughs> go to Cash's computer. Then I can go to Cash's face. Cash, you're looking at me, you're looking over here. There you go. Cason's computer. Or Cason's face. Hey guys. Hey guys. Pretty cool. And yeah, I'm in the background recording. So my plan, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm on your face, Kai. There's your face. Remember we need to like work on 
Oh, you want your computer? Yeah. Okay, there you go. I got it. I'm making, like, go on the computer. Go on Casey's computer. You really need to, like, move it somewhere where we can't, where they can't see that. Yeah. I don't know that. Whoa. 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 Whoa.